Welcome back, trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at yet again some more defense form Deoxys in PvP battles because it is a fairly new Pokemon and people are a bit curious as to how it performs going up against different situations. So two videos back, I did say if we were able to get 550 likes, I will be purchasing that secondary move and we're going to be doing that now, spending that 100,000 Stardust as well as 100 candies to get that. So we do have Rock Slide and we're going to keep it like that just for now and see how well it performs. I also want to say thank you for hitting that marker and getting that video up to, I think, almost 700 likes now. So that's excellent. I did name it Juggernaut, kind of like Marvel Juggernaut. So we're going to go in here to these PvP battles with Chirk as well as Kesha, just like yesterday's video, and see what we have going on here. It's going to be a free-for-all. I'm going to be starting it off with the Alolan Raticate, and he's going in here with the Mantane. So like we've seen before, the Mantane gains quite a bit of energy with Bubble. But the Alolan Raticate is a bit tanky, so it can take hits fairly well. And with that Quick Attack gaining a decent amount of energy for those charge moves that don't require too much, we're looking pretty good. He does bring in his regular Raticate. We're going to go ahead and just stay in this fight here because that's quite interesting, both of the Raticates there. But I do decide to switch out at the last second with my counter Deoxys. And that Hyper Fang does quite a bit of damage. If I'd known it would have done that, I would have probably blocked. Now, if we did have Thunderbolt, that would take it out probably almost in one hit, seeing the Mantane is going to be flying and water. Although Rock Slide would have done a decent amount. He's going to shield up nonetheless, and I am as well, to preserve that Deoxys just a little bit longer, seeing that these are the tests here. So as you've seen, it is going to be super effective. It just didn't show sometimes. It's just a visual glitch. It's very glitchy in PvP. I don't know why. This is an area where it should be running completely smooth. But anyways, uh, down goes the Deoxys to the Empoleon there with the Waterfall. In comes my Eradicate. And the Quick Attack's not doing much damage, but Crunch will hit it for neutral here. Uh, did a good amount. Uh, Empoleon's going to be a fantastic Pokemon come its Community Day. Uh, whenever that happens so we could probably calculate the months to see exactly in comes my snorlax tanking that hydro pump and finishing it off so into the next match and that was a good game there starting it off with toxicroak here not sure what he has oh it's hitmonchan so we're looking pretty good because counter is not going to be doing much as well as power up punch but he keeps tricking me with thunder punch power up punch i wasn't sure what it was going to do i did not need to block that there also i spilt water right about here in the match and that's why i was not hitting my charges if you're wondering so that uh, kind of ruined the whole battle for this one in comes the mischievous up against the deoxys that's not good because counter is not going to be doing much i do switch into the crobat here I'm not looking too great, although Shadow Ball can hit pretty hard onto that Steelix, but he does have shields. He knows better. He basically knows all the moves on my Pokemon at this point. Well, the ones I mainly use. Sludge Bomb's not going to be doing much because it's going to be Steel type. So we're definitely not going for that. Going to hit another Shadow Ball up here. See if he lets it go through. As you've seen, quite a bit of damage. But at this point, I have one Pokemon left, and that is going to be Deoxys. Counter will hit it, but we have no more shields, and Crunch hurts. Uh, so it was able to take it still pretty well. In comes the Mischievous, and it's not looking good. He had a Dark Pulse right at the gate. Super effective. Mischievous is no joke, and down it goes. So that was another good game. In goes my Drapion up against that Omnistar here. So Infestation will get you a lot of energy gain for your charge moves, but it's not doing much damage. On the other hand, Bite is going to be doing massive damage, and I should probably switch that up just to give it a test, seeing that it's one of its new moves. So down it goes. I just didn't have a chance up against that Water Gun on that Omnistar. So I do have my Deoxys here with Counter dealing super effective damage because it is going to be part uh, Rock type. And we are not going to use a charge here. Going to wait for the next Pokemon. In comes Clefable. And I'm going to be switching. I'm not too sure why I did that. I just uh, I just did it. <laughs> so we're going to just Water Gun and Surf uh, until our heart's content here. Uh, see what we can do with this Lapras. We do both have one shield on either end now. Since he did just use one, he will be retreating right away into that Beedrill. And as I get off a of Surf here, Beedrill is actually pretty good as well. If you do have that Legacy Bug Bite, which I do, as a matter of fact, and it performs quite nicely. Hitting up another Surf. Because we still are locked there. We can switch, but at this point, the Lapras is down. And in comes my Deoxys. Now, I I mean, there was nothing I could do. As his Bug Bite was pretty much going to destroy me, so I had to get off this Rock Slide here. And in comes his Clefable. Out the gate, ready with the Meteor Mash. Down I go immediately. If I was able to get off that Rock Slide, possibly could have won that. Well, more than likely. And that was another good game. So starting it off with the Victory Bell, he's going in with the Seedra. Retreating immediately into the Muck. And so I will be bringing in my Quagsire, which will have a Ground Quick move, which will be super effective to it. And then we'll be able to get off that Earthquake. But first we're going to bait him with the Stone Edge here. And you don't want to get it off immediately when you can do your Stone Edge. 
wait for the earthquake to charge so they will possibly think you're going for that stronger one uh, the people who are actually counting and know the timing so he hits me up with the thunder punch not doing very much damage being a part ground type hitting him up with the earthquake he does decide to let it go through and i was thinking what should i bring in i go for the victory bell he switches immediately into his right shoe not sure if he was just playing games or he did that by accident victory bell will be part poison so it takes reduced damage from the fighting and part grass so reduced damage from electric now in comes his cedra i will be hitting it up with acid spray lowering its defense and in comes my deoxys here and i'm just gonna have to counter away here i could hit the charge but i just wanted to see the performance while its defense was down and it's just chipping away quite nicely so remember defense form deoxys does not specialize too much in attack so don't expect too much out of it as far as that goes now of course the one time i start off with my deoxys he's going in there with the parasect that's going to be super effective and uh, after the battles, he did say, ah, oh, he should have switched when I brought him my skunk tank. But yeah, so we have our skunk tank in here. And solar beam, wow, I didn't <laughs> expect that. Uh, so yeah, down it goes. In comes my Alteria. And down goes his Parasect here. And in comes his Flygon. So we're we're looking okay. We shield up at least one of those Dragon Claws. We should be looking okay. So I will be going for Sky Attack to bait out his shield. And he does use it up. And at this point, we can... Pretty much just Dragon Breath and save our charge for the next Pokemon. There's no point in wasting it. Unless you knew he was about to get off their charge. Alright, so in comes the Graveler. I will be bringing in the Deoxys, which will be doing super effective damage to it. With that counter, we are going to be hitting up that Psycho Boost there to finish it off just about. And then do a few more counters, and we're good to go. And that was a good game. So on to OMG, it's Kesha. Let's go. And I'll be starting it off with the Deoxys. He's going in with the Pillow Swine. Now I will be doing super effective damage with counter onto him because he will be a part ice type Pokemon. And we are going to let this go through to see how much Avalanche does. And I was quite surprised. Very nice. So we're just going to go ahead and do Rock Slide because that does a lot of damage to it being ice type as well. And we're just going to shield it up because that uh, will take us out. I don't want to go out quite yet. I'm going to save the charge for the next Pokemon seeing the counter was digging in quite nicely. He was making his decision. I'm switching out immediately into Skunk Tank here. Uh, pretty reliable Pokemon even outside that Twilight Cup. So yeah, he's bringing in his Metacham. He did me up with Ice Punch. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Sludge Bomb here and do quite a bit of damage. And we're just going to keep doing what we can do with this thing. And he's hitting me up with Ice Punch yet again. I'm thinking he didn't want to go for Power Punch. I would assume he had it on it, but not too sure. Uh, so finishing it off there with the Poison Jab. And he's bringing in Sceptile. We'll be shielding that up because he has no more shields. And I just wanted to pretty much finish it off with the Skunk Tank here. And down he goes. And that's a great game. Now, I could just put all these battles of the Deoxys battling together, kind of like a montage for you guys. But I just decided to throw all the battles in because I know there's a lot of people out there that enjoy these fully through. So I am starting it off with Gliscor, not in a great position, being a flying and ground type. And that Quillfish is going to be a water and poison. It does have Water Gun doing super effective damage. And I didn't want to use a shield at that point. I was thinking, okay, well, let's see if we can salvage this with Deoxys here. So I will be shielding up that Aqua Tail to preserve as much as I possibly can at this point with the Deoxys because that Psycho Boost will be doing super effective damage. But the counter, not very effective because part poison on the Quillfish is in. So it's past half health here and he's still on his first Pokemon and I'm down a shield. Not looking too great. So let's see what he comes in with Pillow Swine. So I'll be hitting up that Rock Slide doing a good amount of damage. He will be shielding up the first one, but I had a significant amount of energy saved up. So I was able to get off another Rock Slide quite immediate after the first one and then that pillow swine holding on by an inch there <laughs> and going for the bulldoze i do waste a shield there but that's all right in comes a septile and i do have that charizard we'll be able to finish it off with that blast burn with no more shields on his end and that is going to be a good game so going into the next one here i'm going to be starting it off with the persian he's going in there with the azumarill uh, so let's see what we have in this match uh, every time i use my persian it's always a risk Usually would shield up one time, seeing the Scratch is doing quite a good amount of damage, and that's pretty much the only thing it's riding on. Uh, getting to play rough, Power Gem, it's just awful. All right, so hopefully one day can receive a better move. Hopefully, please, fingers crossed. So he does take me out for sure with that Azumarill. But the Persian dug in quite significantly, uh, but I am down one shield, so not looking too hot. Uh, in comes the Quagsire here. And I'm just going to go ahead and shield this up because yeah, that would have pretty much almost taken me out. going to go ahead and go with that Stone Edge. 
uh, with the lower energy cost because it didn't have much health left. I could have kept going with the quick move, but it's not worth it because bubble gains a lot of energy. In comes the Altaria here, and we were able to burn a shield there, so I do have a shield on him. And I will be blocking this, whatever it is. It's going to be Sky Attack. And let's go ahead and go for that Rock Slide, which will be super effective, dealing a decent amount of damage, at least as a defense form Deoxys. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it's also able to take a Sky Attack or two, so that's also pretty good. Just going to go for the quickest one there, Psycho Boost finishing it off. And he is bringing in the Metacham. We're not looking great here at all. And he's going to be finishing me off there with the Ice Punch, and that's going to be a good game there. So moving on to the next one here. I will be starting it off with the Dragonite. Oh yeah, that's going to be a Dragon Breath, but not Dragon Claw, unfortunately. Outrage and Hurricane on that one. So he is going in there with the Caesar, And the, man, I mean, it's quick move. And I'm part flying is doing a lot of damage just to show you how good Caesar is in PvP. So I will be switching into Deoxys just to see how it can perform under pressure uh, when it's going to be taking super effective damage from both of the charge moves and it took that x scissor quite nicely so i'm happy with that big time so i do take him out with the counter because it, it was doing a good amount of damage being part steel type yes bug will resist it but it's neutralized there so yeah in comes the tropius i will be hanging up with the rock slide doing super effective damage so all in all i'm pretty happy purchasing that secondary move on deoxys it has been serving me quite nicely so i will be bringing in my own caesar here pretty funny that we both picked that one and uh in a pretty good position all right aerialist is doing a decent amount of damage but at this point very cutter x scissor are just going to rip through that tropius there so in comes his next pokemon which is going to be metacham we're just going to go for night slash night slash x scissor both of them can do a good amount of damage um, but I just didn't really care for it to survive. I just wanted to bring the Dragonite in because I knew I had saved up energy and just go for Outrage. Could have gone for Hurricane, but at that point, I mean, anything could almost take out that Metacham, especially if it's doing over 100 damage. All right, so starting off the next match, I'm going in here with the Amazing Victory Bell. He's going to be going in there with Celio. It does go down fairly quick because Razor Leaf just absolutely destroys things, especially on Victory Bell. So we're just going to go ahead and go for that Acid Spray to bring down that defense on that Altaria. So for whatever comes in next, and it's basically a sacrifice on the Victory Bells, and I was not going to retrieve it. And so we're just going to go in here with Lapras. Unfortunately, it does have Water Gun, but since the defense has been lowered on the Altaria, it was doing a decent amount. He is going to be switching into Toxicro, doing super effective damage onto my Lapras being a part ice type pokemon and i'm going to go ahead and hit up surf it's going to do a decent amount but he does shield it up and have another dynamic punch ready to go ouch so i do have one more shield left let's see what we can do here i will not be shielding it up because i already know the alteria is going to be next so we have our rock slide no more shields and that's going to be a good game thank you for watching trainers and i'll be catching you all next time